What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and I'm an ultrasound technologist, aka sonographer who lives out here in Las Vegas and I love all things Disney. And today I am back with another ultrasound video which is about three tips or I guess advice that I think you will find helpful to help you survive ultrasound clinicals. And clinicals is a question that I get all the time. Like, how do you survive clinicals? What are some tips for clinicals? What is clinicals like? And honestly, every clinical setting is different because you might be in a hospital setting, you might be in an outpatient setting, you might be in a doctor's office, and you might have to have classes in between clinicals, or you might just have clinicals only and only focus on clinicals as a whole, like five days straight or something like that. Some people have externship internship, whatever it is you have, this is just some advice, some tips for you to help you survive those because a lot of times we go in there, we don't know what to expect, we're a little bit defeated, and I want you guys to know some of these things that they don't really tell you about or talk to you about before you go into clinical settings. So with that being said, if you guys are wanting to hear some good advice and some different advice, go ahead and stick around for the rest of this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, all the things. And with that being said, let's just get started. <laughs> All right, so advice number one. This has to do with your environment, you being a student in a clinical setting, but I need you to remember that you are going into a hospital or an outpatient clinic or a doctor's office where these sonographers are doing their job. We as instructors or preceptors are working and we have a busy department I'm sure we have a lot of things to do a lot of things that need to get done and we are trying to do our job while also trying to teach you as a student to do ultrasound so this can be hard for a lot of students because they want to go into the program thinking okay I'm going to get all of my clinical setting opportunity to teach me how to become an ultrasound technologist or sonographer and that's how I'm going to become a sonographer because they're going to teach me and I'm going to know everything because I went to school and I'm doing clinicals and I'm going to learn and I'm going to know everything right away and I'm going to I'm just going to know it all. I know some students don't feel that way but also you expect that almost because yes you're paying for school but just remember that the text that you're going to work with are also working so be mindful that you may not get a site where you're going to be scanning all the time or you're going to be getting the best teaching from them because they are also working at the same time so just be patient try to be kind try to understand that they are working and they are doing their best to not only do their job but also teach you use this time this opportunity to remember that you're a student every situation is a learning situation you're not going to know ultrasound right away after just doing clinicals after a few weeks after a few months it's going to take years to be comfortable scanning patients so when you go into your clinical setting be aware that they are working be aware that you may not get your questions answered right away be aware that you have to understand that they are busy and you are there to supplementally help them while they are there to supplementally help you become a sonographer. And they should know as a clinical site, taking in a student is a lot of energy and teaching you is a lot of energy. And sometimes we don't get the best practice in these environments because it's so busy but if you're just thrown into it you will learn a little bit quicker than if they were to hold your hand every single time a patient came to do a scan because how are you going to learn if you don't go in there and just scan and how are you going to learn if you don't ask any questions i want you to go in there and show them that you are passionate or that you are willing to help willing to scan any patient and willing to do whatever it takes to learn ultrasound but just remember you're not going to learn it right away and they're going to be very busy so do your best to help them and do your best to be there be alert be open to anything and make sure that you 
write down the questions that you have so that you can get them answered later, especially when it's super duper busy. So my tip is to just remember to stay focused, whatever is happening in the situation, learn it, write it down if you need to remember what happened in that situation and write down your questions that you have for your sonographers because it is going to be busy in that setting. So in clinicals, usually you're with a sonographer who is telling you, okay, how to do certain things and they expect things from you, certain things like if you were to get a patient, if you were to start the exam, if you were to look up the patient's history or even just bring the patient back from the room. There's a lot of little things that you can do to help them and ease the situation while you're in clinicals. So just know that if you go in there with the mindset, knowing it's going to be busy and there's going to be opportunities for you to scan, you just have to show them like, hey, I want to scan. I want to be able to learn. Please show me the ropes because there's a lot of different places that one, have a hard time teaching their students because it's so busy. But two, they don't realize that you actually want to get in there and learn and be proactive about your learning. So just remember to go in there ready to scan and ready to help and know that it's gonna be busy, but you are there for a reason. So hopefully you can get some good lessons from your clinical preceptors. My second advice is there will be workplace drama and politics. And you will notice that as a student because you're just a student going in there and you'll see what's happening behind the scenes and you'll be able to see what techs are saying and all that stuff and you know honestly they shouldn't involve you in that but you're just in the space so you may hear about it or you may be part of them talking about conversations about things just don't be part of that you're there to do your job you're there to learn you're there to be a student and help them however you can so whenever things like that happen just try to stay neutral don't give your advice or opinion for anything that really goes on or goes down in the office or the hospital as a student you should just observe the situations you should be there knowing that this is a whole entire interview for you to possibly work in that hospital setting as well now you can always decide to if you don't like that hospital or that clinic setting and you don't like it at all and you just don't want to be there you don't have to work there but this is a learning opportunity for you to be there and also for you to see what it's like in this environment because you have to remember being in the healthcare field is very stressful and a lot of things can happen as a sonographer when it comes to people not doing their jobs or sonographers choosing certain exams to do you should be the first one as a student to say, hey, I want to scan that, or hey, can I practice and take that patient and do that scan? They wanna see that you are willing to scan whatever it is and you're there to do your student duties and just try not to be part of that workplace drama or politics. Now, part of this also is keeping your work life separate from your personal life. So students, they're almost coming in there as someone who is just trying to learn, but life is very stressful as a student, as it is, you know, and you don't want to bring your personal stuff into the workplace. And that goes for the same as the drama in the workplace. You want to just try to stay neutral, try not to bring it up. Of course, if you have to have days off or if you need to request that you can't go to clinical for some sort of reason. Always ask whoever's in charge or your school to see if there's a possibility that you can just not go to clinical for that day or so. But as a student, it's very telling when somebody is out of place because that is a potential place that you could work at in the future or networking. These people, if they really like you, they can get you a job right away when you graduate. So it's very important that you go into these clinical sites ready, willing to work and to just not cause any issues as a student. But I know that there are so many stories out there. So if you have a specific story you have a question about or you want to let us know, which is me, my Discord family, or anyone out there who you trust a situation that they need to know, please do let us know or please let your teachers know anything like that. We want to make sure you are first and foremost getting the best 
clinical experience that you can but just know in this field you almost have to kind of like i don't know i don't want to say like suck it up but you kind of have to because you are a student and you want to just put on your best best behavior to see if it's a possibility that you can get some experience because it's important to get your foot into the door get some experience and then eventually go somewhere else and work somewhere that you like better and it's kind of a battle of pick and choose your battle because if it's something that you can get through and it's so minuscule for you to just sweep it under the rug get through your day learn what you need to learn and then go home, um, that's probably best for you in the long run. So I know that a lot of students go into clinicals thinking, hey, it's gonna be easy breezy, I'm just gonna go in, scan, and leave. There's gonna be other factors that may make it harder. So when it does get hard, make sure you are leaning on to other people who you can trust to talk to about situations so that you don't blow up in clinical or you know you are able to get through it because once you're done with clinical all you gotta do is get hired somewhere for your first job and then gain some experience so you can go somewhere better that you will eventually like but the ultimate goal is to be somewhere where you really like the place and hopefully that's where your clinical site is because a lot of students that i have interviewed actually get hired at their clinical sites that they really like so just remember keep workplace drama and keep personal drama separate. Also, just try not to be a part of it because you are a student, you're in clinicals, we're just trying to get through clinicals. And yeah, that's pretty much that advice that I have for you. My last advice that I have for you kind of goes off of that last advice, which is don't be discouraged by any constructive criticism, by any self-doubt that you may have, by any negative comments from other sonographers. Honestly, like I said, you're a student, you're just there to get the learning experience that you can and try your best to get through it. We all started somewhere. We all started as a student. We all started at the very bottom and eventually you will climb your way up to the top. In the healthcare field, a lot of people are brutal. A lot of people are mean and it's unfortunate that people are brutal and mean because when I think about it, other sonographers, other nurses, doctors, like they should be nice, right? They should be nice. But in the medical field, it is a stressful, high tension, very, I don't know, just very hard job. And so sometimes they take it out on sonographers or other nurses or other doctors and you're caught in the situation. So with that kind of stuff, don't be discouraged. And also for yourself, don't be discouraged to have self-doubt or to feel like you you don't know anything because you're just in clinicals. You're just learning. You're not going to learn everything in, in just this small amount of time going to clinicals. So I want you to give yourself grace as much as we say give yourself grace, but we do because it takes time. It takes practice. It takes a lot of skill to eventually be confident in sonography and seeing what you're seeing on the screen. Me sitting here six years later, I can still say that I have a lot of constructive criticism given my way. I can say that I have a lot of self-doubt. And so then the earlier you know this and understand that that's going to happen as a student and it's okay for that to happen, you will survive clinicals. I want you to know that you're not alone. You join our Discord family, you join the Facebook community, you share with us your problems, your struggles, and we'll help you get through it. But it is very common that students get upset with themselves because they weren't able to get a scan in or they weren't able to find the pancreas or a day was really hard or a nurse yelled at them, a doctor yelled at them. I have nurses and doctors yelling at me quite often, but in the clinical setting, it might happen, it might not happen, but if it does happen and you come across these negative things, I want you to know that you can control your feelings and your thoughts on it. And I want you to take a step back, remember what you're doing, bring yourself back to why you're doing ultrasound in the first place. And it's for the patients, it's to help other people, it's to do something that you're passionate about. And at the end of the day, you will eventually learn, you will grow. 
you will get better time and time again after each scan, after each day. And I want you to think positively as much as it's very hard to when so many negative things are coming your way, especially, especially as a student. So if you don't have any support, you know, if you don't have someone to talk to, I highly recommend you join our Discord family and just know that you can survive clinicals. Clinicals is hard and then the hospital setting is hard and you'll see it because this is where eventually you're going to work one day. These departments in the healthcare field, it's tough. It's getting really busy. Everyone is short staffed and on top of the short staff, we're trying to teach a student. So just remember everybody needs to be a little bit more kind and it's hard to deal with these kinds of things but pick and choose your battles you will survive clinicals this can probably even go to somebody who's working in the field right now because it's tough out there and i need you to remember why you did this in the first place why you became a sonographer in the first place why you're going to become a sonographer in the first place and just know you're here to help patience and make a difference in the world and i'm definitely excited to meet you guys on discord and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video there's my dog again but at least we're at the very end so just please please stay positive out there be kind to one another remember that you're not alone and there's other people who are going through the same exact thing that you're going through or have gone through what you're going through and if you need anything comment down below add me on Instagram and let's just talk it out and see what we can do to help you survive clinicals. But yes, this was today's video. If you guys want any other videos, let me know below and we'll see you as always in the next one. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.